Hello everyone, thought I'd do a video on my knife collection. Um, it's not an imp that impressive a collection because I don't, you know, collect knives, just knives like a lot of people do. I um, collect a lot of military and weapons in general, but I thought I'd go over what I've got because it might interest people. And um, I might do another video at some stage when I've got a few more. But right, if I start at the beginning, first proper knife I got um, was this one off of Blades and Bows. They advertised it as um, the bayonet knife. It's like a cheap uh, 10 inch bayonet knife. Uh, as you see, pretty impressive size. You can see it compared to my hand. Um, basically, uh, a guy on YouTube told me quite recently that he thinks it's called the Bud K Alabama Slammer. And I looked that up and that looks about right. So that's probably what it actually is. But when I bought it, it was just called the bayonet knife. It's got a bayonet lug, so it might as well be a bayonet. Very cheap style knife. But um, I managed to put quite a nice edge on it. Um, it's got a very good point. I've stabbed a lot with it, and it's not, um, you know, lost its point at all. Um, it's got a simple serration on there. So for like an eight quid knife, whatever it costs from Blades and Bows, plus postage, whatever that was, very good knife. Right, move on to the second knife I got. I'm going to try and do it as close to chronological order as possible. It's a very cheap Rolson multi-tool knife, a bit like a Swiss Army knife. You've got your corkscrew on there, screwdrivers, other sorts of knives, sewing thing. And obviously it's got some blades on here. If I can get the thing out. There's obviously the main blade that's meant to imitate a Swiss Army knife blade. Isn't anywhere near as sharp out of the box as a Swiss Army knife. I tried sharpening it, it doesn't sharpen up too well. But I only paid about two quid for this from a hardware shop because they were on sale. So um, not bad at all for the price. Nice bit of wood on there. And a lot, of, even though the actual knife isn't too good, a lot of the other tools from it are quite useful. So I'll put this over here as well. Right. Next knife I got. I have to try and remember what it actually was. I think probably the next knife I got. Actually, no. Before I forget, uh, Bart got me this one as a present when he went on holiday to Morocco. It's a tribal knife. Uh, somebody told me on the comment it was a Berber knife. So thank you for whoever said that on the comment. Very nice. A bit rusty, but I've cleaned it up. Obviously, wouldn't use this for anything because I wouldn't want to damage it. This nice little collection piece. So, for the time being, just put this on here as well. Okay, now I think this is the next knife I've got. It is a Master Cutlery Survivor Survival Knife. A very good sheath on this. There we go. Out of all of the cheap knives I own, this is probably the best one. Very nice grip, solid to hold, got a proper tang on it. You know, comfortable, you can thrust well with it, it chops very well, and it's got double serration, which means um, obviously you can saw wood with it quite well. So that's a very nice uh, knife, pop it there. As I say, that's probably the best of the cheapest knives I bought. A lot of those survivor knives seem quite good because I've bought them as presents for people, and they've been quite pleased with them, and you know, they're quite good blades out of the box normally on those. Um, next. Some throwing knives I got off Blades and Bows. Um, I'm afraid I haven't really done any videos of these because I'm absolutely awful at throwing them. But I might try and do a video for you at some stage because it might be funny for people to watch. don't think they've got a sharp edge at all. They've got a little bit of a sharp edge, but they're mostly, you know, because they've got a point on them. So throw those, pop them there. Seem all right knives, but obviously I haven't used them much because I'm not very good with them. Next we have, um, I think this is probably going to be another Bud K knife. It is um, the Jungle Knife, or whatever they called it, Jungle Master Knife. Similar to that bayonet knife above. Slightly shorter blade on this one. It's got sort of holes in this one. Got a serrated tip near the edge. But in general, very similar knife. The only thing I don't like on this is the hand guard. Because a lot of the time when I've tried using this, you know, your hand slips into the hand guard and you end up hurting your hand. But doesn't seem like a bad knife for the price. Doesn't sharpen up too well compared to the bayonet knife, so it's probably not heat treated very well. But that's that one. Okay. Next, this one I really like. 
if I can get out the sheath. <laughs> East German bayonet knife, quite short for a bayonet, but it's a good utility knife. Serrations on there, decent point, decent edge now, I've sharpened it, cuts very well, great for open opening packaging. Really cool thing about this knife is you can um, slot it on here on the sheath and that acts as a wire cutter and I've tested that out, that works really well. So um, this is a cool sort of multi-functioning knife, pop that on there as well. It's getting quite hard to see this stuff now isn't it? Okay, um, we're almost done. M-Tech version of the K-Bar, nice stack wooden, uh, stack leather handle. Not very good for sharpening the blade up on this, but it's a nice looking blade. Pop that on the side there. Victor Inox Swiss Army knife. Not much to say about this. Done it in another video, but you know, everybody knows what these are. Very good little knives, better than the Rolson one. So I'll pop that next to the Rolson one. And lastly, little Gerber folding knife very good for just what it is not as many functions as a Swiss Army knife if you're going to get one for the price I'd recommend the Swiss Army knife but if you just want it for cutting this is better so I'll pop that there just zoomed out so you can see all the knives so just to quickly point for them again East German bayonet knife uh, what's probably a Bud K knife jungle knife M-Tech um, K-Bar, Throwing Knives, Master Cutlery Survival Knife, Gerber Pocket Knife, uh, Moroccan Tribal Knife, um, what's their name again, can't remember, Bud K, uh, Bud K Bayonet, Alabama Slam, whatever you want to call it, Victorian Ox, um, Swiss Army Knife, Rolson Pocket Knife, and I think that's all of them. But yeah, that's my modest little collection. Not as impressive as a lot of people I'm subscribed to, but I collect other stuff as I said, and I thought some people might have been interested in seeing what I own.